Hey, why aren't you answering my calls? Right, I need to talk to you. Just call me back, okay? Hey, hey. What do you want? Nothing, I just... Well, I heard about Axel, no? He used to be a man yours. Yeah, he used to be. So what? Thought you'd be a bit cut off about it, that's all. Yeah, it was an accident, okay? Stuff happens. Well, what are you going to do about it? Make it all better? No, what? Well, I, I, I don't know. I just thought that maybe we could help his family out in some way. Because you know him, don't Listen, you? Listen, leave me 80 good Samaritan ball, all right? Well, don't you at least feel sorry for him? We don't even know who... I said I don't want to know about it, okay? Um, if you get the chance, do you mind um, whacking on a load of washing for us? Oh, sure, yeah. And um, if you happen to come across Annie in your travels, um, maybe, I don't know, take her to the movie, something like that. Yeah, that's a good idea. Good on you, doll. Thanks. I'll see you soon. Yeah, see you. Up on me like that. Sorry, I thought you heard me come in. No, I didn't. I was a million miles away. What are you doing sneaking around here anyway? I need to talk to you. I had to wait for Irene to leave. Why? I had to go back to the house last night and I found something. Dad's shirt was shoved under the couch and it had blood on it. Hey, Nick, there could be another explanation. Yeah, like what? Belle, I'm sure of it. Dad killed Axel. Well, if you're so convinced, don't you think we should tell the police? What, Dob, I'm my own father. Look, I'm not saying I'm convinced. I mean, what if I'm wrong? Yeah, but your gut instinct is telling you that he did it, though. That's what you keep saying. Yeah, but... I mean, I have to be convinced before I go bringing the cops into it. Well, then we're back to square one. How are we going to do that? I don't know. I... I just wish I could talk to him. Yellow? How long ago was this? Yeah, is he still there or...? Okay, no, I'll, I'll come and check on him straight away. All right, see ya. So? That was Julie from the hospital. She said Dad was just there. She's calling because she's worried about some bump on his head. Come on, let's go. Where are we going? Look, if we move quick, we might catch up to him. Wait, wait, don't you think we should call the police just as a precaution? If he's innocent anyway, it's Look, not going to Look, I have to it. know first. Okay, part of me still believes that he might be able to explain everything away. Prove that it wasn't him. Come on, at least let's just find him first, okay? chance for us, I just, I just lost it, and I started drinking again, I was stupid, I know, but I, I was gutted, you were the only thing that I had going, I was desperate, so after I'd had a few, I, I went after you, I want to try and fix things, change your mind somehow. So you thought that me seeing you drunk was going to change your mind? I wasn't thinking clearly. How drunk were you when you got behind the wheel? I wasn't weaving all over the road, if that's what you're asking. They came out of nowhere. Even if I was sober, I don't think I could have stopped in time. Well, there's no way of knowing that now, is there? That kid was hooning. I don't know how or where he came from. I just... Oh. Hit him. You say it like it's his fault. Dad, you didn't just hit him. You left him for Dad to save your own skin. Because I panicked. I didn't know what to do. I just wanted to get out of there and straighten myself out. Now this morning, I decided to go to the cops. First, I, I wanted to get this, this checked out, so I headed to the hospital. And that's when they told me that... They said... And Axel didn't make it. I only got this far before the radiator burst and the car conked out. So basically, your way of dealing with knowing what you've done was to get in your car and take off. How 
can you be that gutless, Dave? Eh? You do have to go to the police now, you realise that. Yeah, I know, and I will, but I can't do it like this. I mean, look at me, I've got the shakes, it's really bad. I can't face them like this, I can't talk to them if, 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 I've, if I've got the DTs like this. Please, just one little drink, just for courage, it's, it's the only way I can do it. You're coming with us to the police right now. No, no I'm not. See, unless I get something just to take the edge off. Yeah, I can't, I can't move, I can't. Fine. I'll get you a bottle of whiskey and then we're all going to the cop station. You stay here. Where am I going to go? Torch the evidence and took off! I don't care what your reasons were. The two of you should have gone straight to the police the minute you suspected it was him behind the wheel. Aiden was just trying to do the right thing by his dad. What's going on? My dad was a hit and run driver. What? How long have you known? Don't leave him alone. He feels bad enough as it is. He's told the police everything he knows. We've just come from the station. 